friends, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a short video today. As soon as Papa Bear gets home, we've got to head up to the produce stand and then we're working the church booth at the fair this evening. But I wanted to do a quick update on our tomatoes in our big garden, y'all, because it's not looking good. Um, unfortunately, every single one of these tomato plants caught a fungus. Um, Septoria leaf spot. And it's not good. <laughs> they have a lot of um, tomatoes still on them. And I don't know if they're going to start turning or not. I mean, we do have some that have turned. We have harvested some tomatoes off these plants. But y'all, this fungus is just devastating. It starts from the very bottom, works its way up. You get these brown spots. It is very, very fast moving and probably, I mean, probably within a week, every one of our tomato plants down here were showing the spots and taking a hit from it. Um, this time last year, I saw on some Facebook memories, you see a couple of these tomato plants are quite tall. I don't know if I'm five, six and a half-ish, so every one of our tomato plants last year were at least that tall by this point if not taller and you can tell that it's just not the same this year um it spread quick and really the only thing that you can do well i'm sure you can spray some fun fun fungicides fungicides <laughs> um but we don't spray around here. Uh, if it's completely natural, we will, but this happened so fast that I didn't have any time to do any kind of research on a more natural spray. But um, pesticides, sprays, we don't use any of that here on the homestead. And I was doing some reading about it and really the only thing you can do if you're not gonna use sprays is just, if you can catch it early enough and remove the the diseased leaves that can sometimes help but what you're doing there especially when it gets as bad as it is on this scale you're risking um, sun scald on your tomatoes and the plants and please ignore the weeds this garden has got completely out of control um, all of our zucchini plants over there they were dying off so we just kind of let the weeds take them but I can't complain about them one bit. They produce so many zucchini for us this season. And um, we've still got a whole bunch of beans. I need to, that's what I should be doing right now is picking some for the, for the stand today. But they'll get a good pick on Thursday for Friday's stand. Um, but anyway, yeah, y'all, this is bad. I've been debating with myself whether or not I want to continue trying to <clears throat> remove all the diseased limbs. I don't know. A lot of my blooms are dying off. And I just don't know. I don't see any real new young fruit being produced on these. I mean, all these tomatoes have been on here for quite some time now. These are Cherokee purples. They're starting to put on some color. Oh. But yeah, it's not good. That's the one bad thing about being so busy in July is that I just can't spend a lot of time here in the garden. You know, we work VBS and then had a week's break where we were able to catch up on a few things around here. But um, Papa Bear had to spend a lot of time doing some maintenance on some of his tractors and implements stuff like that because um, he'll be getting out in the field soon to hopefully cut some hay but just figured i'd do a quick update um if any of y'all get overwhelmed by weeds let this just show you you're not the only one um as pretty as i had this garden for the first probably month that we had it out it has just become overrun with weeds and my poor tomatoes 
but I've spoken to a few different people in this area that have said they've heard several people have had issues with their tomato tomato plants this year. Um, so the weather that we had, the early heat in June, we had different weather fronts coming from different directions and just unfortunate. But what can you do? Hopefully all of these tomatoes that are already on the vine will continue to ripen and we'll be able to harvest them. I'll leave that setting out. At the very least, get some good uh, tomato juice made and canned to get us through the winter. But yeah, y'all, life stuff happens and you gotta pick what you're working on. And unfortunately, I've just not been able to get on over here. But how, um, how have y'all's tomatoes been doing wherever you're at watching? Have y'all had struggles too this year, more so than other years? Because we've been, um, We've been growing tomatoes like this for, oh, I don't know, this is probably the, what, fourth year? Fourth year we've been doing it, and this is the first time I've ever had an issue with fungus. Well, look who I found. What's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, I had to go out this morning and, you know, work really hard and find some watermelons and cantaloupe. But don't worry, guys. I got the best cantaloupes you've ever seen. Not that big around. You don't believe me? I'll show you. They're huge. <laughs> uh, I was just going through, showing everyone our sad tomato plants, yeah. our fungus, asking yeah. if anybody else was having issues this year. Um, yeah, I absolutely hate it, but you know it's part of it. it you know if. Raising crops was easy. Everybody would do it. And I think everybody should be growing something. Um, but, yeah. Mama Bear's worked hard out here on this. These yellow tomatoes trying to get all that fungus off. And, I mean, I think she's gaining on it. Uh, I think we're going to... I mean, we've got a crop, but it ain't great. No, uh, I was just saying that last year this time because it popped up on my Facebook feed yesterday or a couple days ago every one of our tomato plants over here was at least this tall um, and we've got maybe out of what what did we have planted like 50 or 60 this year yeah, um, yeah. we have maybe 10 that are the same height that they were last year but but you know God will always provide so mm-hmm Yep. You know, we'll we'll just take this and keep trucking on for next year and not let it slow us down and uh, save what we can and uh, go from there. But yeah, I can't I can't thank Mama Bear enough for what she does around here. Uh, you know, I I come up with all these billion ideas. Uh, <laughs> Mama Bear's the one has to do them. <laughs> so I love her. And yeah, it's awesome. And y'all told you this was gonna be a, a short update <laughs> video. Um, we've got to get our pork loaded up and head off to the produce stand. But um, hopefully, I can do another update in a week or two and let y'all know that our tomatoes are still uh, doing awesome, and maybe we can kick this and at least get somewhat of a decent harvest this year, as long as what we have on it will actually turn we're doing all right but yeah um thank you for watching and as always keep on keeping on we love every one of you so does jesus